Let's talk about dictionaries. Dictionaries are similar to lists in that they allow us to organize a large number of objects. Now, but there are key differences between them. First, let's remind ourselves how we construct a list. A list we construct with square brackets and comma separated values. So here we create a list where the first value is 5, then 2, then 7. If we want to access each of those values, we can do so by index with square brackets. So here with the index 0, we access the first value of the list, which is 5, then 2, and then 7. Now, with dictionaries, we construct them with curly brackets. We open with a curly bracket and then we need uh, first a key, then a colon, and behind the colon is the value. So here we have first number is our key, colon 5, then second number is our next key, that's 2, and then third number is 7. Now here, instead of accessing by index, we can access those values by key. So here we can put first number, again the brackets are now square brackets, and this will give us 5. Now we can look for the second number, which is 2, and the third number, which will be 7. Now this has some advantage because you can make those keys more descriptive than indices. So this actually gives you a mapping between two different um, objects, the key object and the value object. Our keys here are these strings and our values are these numbers. And key and number are separated by colon and key and value pairs are separated by commas. Now if we want to look at all the keys that our dictionary contains, we can do so by getting at dot keys. One problem with this, or it's not really a problem, it's just something to look out for, is that this kind of looks like a list to the beginner, but it really isn't a list. And you can see that it's not a list because indexing into it doesn't work. Dict keys object does not support indexing. So it's not a list object, it's a dict keys object. If you really want to uh, use it like a list, you need to explicitly convert it to a list. Like this. And now you got your list of all the indices of all the keys. Another thing lo to look out for is that this dot keys construct never gives you the so uh, um, any form of sorted arrangement of your keys. The keys are never sorted. That's one of the properties of lists. They are not in a certain order. So if you need them to be sorted, you need to convert them to a list or other um, types of objects that allow you to sort them. In any event, however, we can loop through this dict keys object, excuse me, and we just pr can first of all print all the keys. Now we can also, instead of printing the keys, we can pr get directly at the value that the key has, like this. Now we have our key, the value, our key, our value, our key, our value. Now the same way we get at the keys, we can also access the values. Like this. And this again, it's not really a list. This will not work. But this is uh, how we can get at all the, um, all the values. And again, they will not necessarily be sorted in any way. If you want them sorted, you need to sort them yourself. Now one thing about dictionaries is that you can add key value pairs simply by doing this, by indexing. So it's uh, we have to notice that 
fourth number does not exist yet in our dictionary. It's not, it's not a key yet, but by assigning a value to this key, we will create it. And now we have to again get to our keys. And now we will see that fourth number now shows up when we get at the keys. One thing that we cannot do is we cannot access, of course, keys that don't exist. Assigning works, but accessing a key that doesn't exist, of course, gives us an error. And specifically, it gives us a key error. Now, I, we've seen so far only strings being used as keys. But as a matter of fact, any kind of object or virtually any kind of object Technically speaking, any kind of object that is considered hashable can uh, be a key. And you can mix different types of keys in the same list. Uh, excuse me, in the same dictionary. So something like this is perfectly okay where uh, one, this first um, key value mapping has a key two mapping to the value 10. And then we have a mapping where it is maps the uh, uh, string first number to the value 15. And then it looks like this. Now this wraps up our first quick look at dictionaries. There's a lot more to discuss about dictionaries and possibly also the uh, concept of hashability. But we'll look at that later. And for now, this is your our first introduction to dictionaries. See you in the next video.